What's going on, YouTube? Welcome to episode 17 of the Starship Evo USS Revengeance build. I'm Zero Elite, and I just want to thank you very much for tuning in today's episode. And if you haven't, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and helping me in supporting the channel. I can't thank you enough for that. Um, today we got about uh, just uh, about a 16-minute video for me getting some more detail done on the interior of the Revengeance and um, kind of going from there. Uh, this is kind of like a great opportunity at this point that we've gotten a lot of, like, basically the base outline for how our interior is going to go. And this is, at this point, it's a great opportunity to start looking at the ship and seeing, okay, what's missing? What can I add to it? What have I added that doesn't work that I could possibly change? Um, sometimes, you know, I've said this before, that sometimes you got to throw something down and see what it looks like, kind of get a gauge of where you want to go with it. So we're up in the uh, main hallway directly behind the bridge in the saucer section, and uh, we're right really at the hub, at the top of the staircase, where we can either go left or right to go in what's going to become our crew quarters, and if we go straight back, it's going to bring us into the bridge. And uh, I just kind of started thinking, like, you know, maybe one of these things that's missing here is uh, maybe like some computer consoles, like just something that they could stop and like work at or something, you know, to make it feel a little bit more like a starship. Um, so we're basically going to be building like a desk panel here. And then off of that, we're going to throw in some uh, screens and just kind of build off of that. So we're going to go off the uh, monitor wedge and going to go making them opposite of each other. And then we're going to have to go to the smaller one, do the same thing. We're going to grab some buttons. One of the cool things with Starship Evo is that all these buttons, you know, you can connect them to stuff. Uh, so down the road, you know, as you build out your ship, uh, maybe add a little bit more functionality to it, you can use these consoles, you know, for whatever purpose that might be. Um, but I think the main one at this point is to just flesh out the ship and make it feel more like of a, a ship that, officers would live on that they're using you know um and just that little detail right there that doesn't look bad you know um kind of serves its purpose and i'm going to paint it black it makes the screens gray that might i might leave it like that that doesn't look too bad um i thought about making it blue but i was like you know maybe that might be too much blue I was making sure all my knobs are painted black just to keep everything consistent. And just a second, we're going to pop out the outside of the ship and start to get some more detailing in. So we have some nice space here that we can do some things. But one of the things I'm not crazy about is kind of how the floor looks a little bit plain. And then the staircase, I'm not really feeling the staircase. It does, it's not even much of a staircase at this point. It's more of a ramp. So um, I really uh, want to try to flesh that out a little bit more. And uh, we're going to be using the grating as a way to help us achieve that. You can see I did a little bit of this off camera here, directly above us. And uh, this isn't something you necessarily need to see me do. Uh, piece for piece because at the end of the day um, if you're watching this video more than likely you're probably trying to apply some of this stuff to your own builds and really what I'm doing is I'm trying to make this look a little bit more like a starship so like think of like uh, Enterprise uh, the original one with uh, Kirk that one would be a good example or the Millennium Falcon um, from Star Wars the grating in the floor, you can lift it up or you can just see right through it in some areas of the ship. And just that little detail alone, it helps it to feel a little bit more like a spaceship. Um, so that's one thing I really want to incorporate into this build a little bit. And you can see I'm grabbing a couple more of the building blocks here because I'm thinking about doing some stuff here in this uh, hole here. I might like throw some piping down going across. That might look bad. Um, and I'm not necessarily going off of uh, any set design right now. I'm just looking at the area that I have to work with, and I'm just thinking, okay, what's missing? What can I do 
to make this look a little bit more detailed, make it come a little bit more over the top where it currently is. Those pipes right there in the roof looks great. Um, now it's not super detailed right now, but you know, it's one of the, one thing by itself isn't going to sell it. You know, it's going to be a combination or a symphony, I guess. Of all this stuff together is really what's going to help to sell it. And you know, we've gone from just having a base, very basic outline of our floor plan, and now we're starting to throw some grading down. And uh, when you see what that looks like when we actually have it going across the floor, it's going to really help to add just a whole nother layer of detail across the ship, specifically on this deck. You can see I'm switching to a smaller block, and I'm just going to do a straight line going all the way down because pretty much everything in between that, we're probably going to be filling that in with a grading. Too. Yeah, because now that we're using the grading, the ceiling for the floor is a lot thinner now. So some of those thicker blocks are kind of going to stand out like a sore thumb in comparison. So that's really why I'm getting rid of those. Um, I just kind of made the decision that, you know, this grading in the floor is really going to help to bring out detail in the ship because a lot of times less is more um you can fill your ship full of a whole bunch of things but um when you really start to do that for one you can start to clutter your ship and for two you might take attention off certain areas of the ship that you want your focus to be so we're definitely going to be adding a lot of detail in here but we're not going to be going overboard you know because sometimes you know like i said less is more Need to fill in that hole right there. <clears throat> and see, just with the grading alone, I mean, that's uh, it's starting to look pretty good. It's definitely looking a little bit more like a spaceship on the interior. Now I'm just kind of doing like paneling. I was going to do the grading, but then I just decided, I'm like, you know what, maybe on the sides right here, I'll just do paneling and make it. Um, not just stretch it out and have it just being a certain length. So it actually looks exactly what I'm describing it, like paneling. And that's some things that you can do too, especially with Starship Evo, where you can use different dimensions with your blocks and you can get creative and not just have the same thing going deck to deck to deck. I'm just going to go back to the small block. We're going to fill in that gap. See, now the roof looks nice and clean. We got full, uh, rid of all of those larger uh, blocks, and now it's flush with uh, our grating that's in the floor. And it looks like we intended it from the get-go. Now we're going to get rid of our stairs on the belly of the ship. We're going to do the same thing with the one directly uh, to the left of us right here. We'll be getting rid of that, too. And uh, you can kind of see the template of where I'm going through. We're going to be actually building a staircase. And uh, I decided I wanted to do that because a ramp, for one, it didn't look very good to me. And for two, it was just taking up way too much space. But, I mean, it definitely served its purpose while I you know, was starting out the interior because... Um, not like I would necessarily need it to fly around the interior um, using the flying command, uh, but you know it give, it's a good idea to have that stuff down because you can start to plan where stuff is going to go. It's pretty much kind of where I'm getting at with that. And this was like my first attempt at doing the staircase. So I was thinking like you know maybe I can just do the blocks because. And then going down just like a staircase, because that probably wouldn't look bad. But um, the further down I went, I realized that the top didn't look bad, but the bottom side, uh, something to be desired. 
going to be doing some work on that. We'll be doing more work on the stairs because we're not done with them. Um, we still have some things to do on the interior. Um, we've got to actually build out the area for the warp core and then also the computer core. And, uh, and we're going to actually build out the interior on the uh, quarters. And then we're going to do a little bit more detailing on uh, the, the main corridor that goes into the saucer section. Now you can see on the top side here, I'm just making this a ramp, um, which I think will be easier because I believe I did this off camera. If I'm mistaken, I apologize because uh, it's been a while since uh, I uh, recorded this. But I'm pretty certain that when I had like a more traditional staircase, uh, when you get out of fly, my character was having trouble um, actually walking up the stairs. So I just kind of made the decision at that point, I'm like you know, I need to I need to make it more of a, a ramp, at least on the top side, to make it really work where it's functional to where you could actually you know walk up and down the stairs if you uh, wanted to. And see, so that's really taking up a fraction of the room that our ramps were before. Because they were going straight down from behind. And just taking up all this real estate here. So that's what we want right there. We are missing a couple of things like railing. Uh, so that's going to be something that we're going to have to add. But one of the things I do want to do. Is smooth out the underside. If we can. Because. Uh, I think that will look pretty good. You can get an idea of how I'm going to do that. I'm essentially going to be an upside down ramp, but it'll look nice and clean when it's done. I got to fix this row right there. I got to throw down a regular block. There we go. Fill that gap in, and we're going to go back to the slope. Now, as you can see, I've already got my symmetry tool activated. So this way I don't have to work as hard on Starship Evo. I'm only building half of the, or the one side of the staircase. It's twin over to the right. It's just adding along with me with that amazing symmetry, uh, symmetry tool feature. So you have to do the top staircase, and I think we're going to have some enough time to get that done. We've got about 11 minutes left in today's episode. We're going to see how far we can get, because I'm trying not to make these episodes too long, but I'm trying to make them long enough where I can get a little bit done in each episode. Um, but we are getting into the territory of uh, being close to being done on the Revengeance, which means, hey, I need to start thinking about what I'm going to do after this ship when I'm done with it. Uh, those of you that have stuck with me through this tutorial, um, I really appreciate it. I've gotten some of my highest views since I've been doing Starship Evo on this particular build. So everybody that's taken the time to tune in, just want to thank you very much. But hey, if there's something that you want to see me do, drop a comment below. Because um, you never know if I get enough people asking for it, I might just build the ship. Um, I don't necessarily just build uh, ships from Star Trek. I try to keep it you know, nerd related. Um, if it's something science fiction or comic book oriented or uh, something along within that realm, uh, drop a comment below. You never know. But I've got a couple of ideas on some what I'm going to do next, but I really uh, I haven't fully decided yet because uh, right now uh, I'm heavy into building uh, the Enterprise D and that's taking up uh, a tremendous amount of my time on Minecraft. And uh, I'm trying to really focus on getting the outside of that ship done so I could start the tutorial. I have had some people ask me when that's going to start, and um, I don't necessarily have a date yet. And uh, I feel horrible about that, but at the end of the day, I would rather um, take my time with the build and get it right rather than rush it out and just start it just for the sake of starting it. Um, so... At this point, you know, just still kind of playing it by ear and trying to get as much done on that thing as I can. Um, but, uh, yeah, you know, the Enterprise D, she's definitely coming. And uh, 
something that I'm working on as uh, putting in as much time as I can anyway uh, between work and life and everything else. But it's coming soon. We'll see. Hopefully in the next couple of weeks we'll be starting up the Enterprise D, but um, you guys will know uh, as soon as I know. But I'm definitely looking forward to it. The Enterprise D is going to be an intense build. Uh, definitely not for uh, necessarily your beginners or building on Minecraft because it's definitely going to take uh, uh, some patience and a little bit of skill to do it. But I think the tutorial is going to be pretty uh, detailed in showing you how to do that. Um, just like what we're doing here on Starship Evo with the Revengeance, even though like this is really a fraction of the size. I wouldn't say a fraction, but it's definitely a lot smaller than Enterprise D is. Um, I do want it to get a little bit what got, what I got going on here. You can see that I'm add added the staircase for the top level, and now we're starting to get to the point where we're adding railing, um, which I think is going to look fantastic on the ship. Um, that's something that you can't do in Minecraft, and uh, I just, um, some of the builds that I'm able to do on here, I never, uh, never ceases to impress me. Some of the things that you can do, because I'll think of something that I want to build on Starship Evo. I'm like, no, I don't know if I'll be able to build that. Well, let's give it a try. And, uh, then I turn around, I'm able to do it. I was having a problem right here. For some reason, this block right here was not letting me delete it. And you can see, like, I'm trying, um, <clears throat> And I think what I had to do <coughs> is, uh, excuse me, I had a frog in my throat, was delete some of the, a uh, little bit more of the staircase to get that to go. I think that was a glitch, and I remember at the time when that happened to me, um, I went on uh, the Starship Evo gr uh, group and I reported the bug, because that was just really, really weird that I couldn't delete that uh, block. But I will say this, um, for a game that's only uh, being developed by one person, it's incredibly impressive how well it runs i mean i really that's one of the first bugs i've actually encountered on this game uh, which i really i can't believe it but um yeah what i'm ultimately gonna have to do is get rid of some of this uh railing that i just added here unfortunately that's eaten into the last minute or so of this episode um which is going to cut us short today but when we pick up Next week, we'll be getting more into that and uh, some of the other things. Like I said, not a lot of ton of videos left on the Revengeance. Uh, we're getting towards uh, the end of this build. And I'm excited to see what the community is uh, going to be feeling as far as what they want to see me do and what I ultimately end up doing. But uh, anyway, I think that's going to wrap us up today. We've gotten a little bit done. And uh, definitely more to come on uh, the Revengeance. But I just want to thank everybody again for tuning in today's episode. And if you haven't, Please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and help me in supporting the channel. I can't thank you enough for that. And uh, new subscribers, don't forget to hit notifications on so you always get notified when those new videos drop. And uh, speaking of my new videos, don't forget you can usually catch my, my uh, Starship Evo builds dropping on Mondays and my Minecraft videos dropping Tuesdays through Fridays. And those videos drop around 7 p.m. Eastern. Anyway, I just want to thank you all again for tuning in today's episode. I hope everybody has a happy and safe week, and I'll catch you on the next episode.